right, <clears throat> number 24. Give the major elimination <clears throat> product of the following reaction. So they give us um, CH3, H, there's a phenyl group there, CH3, H, bromine, and we're treating it with sodium hydroxide and heat. So we have a strong base plus heat. So that's going to give us E2, right? We also want, we want the most substituted alkene. So that's Zaitsev's rule. And we want the least sterically hindered hin hindered alkene, which would be trans, right? The least sterically hindered alkene is desired and, that's desired, and that is most likely to be trans. All right, so <clears throat> in order for this hydrogen to eliminate this bromine through an E2 elimination, they need to be anti to each other. So if I flip this 120 degrees like this, I'm going to get an anti conformation. Right? <clears throat> that side stayed the same. The bromine moves up to the, the CH3, CH3 to the H, the H to the bromine. Okay, um, <clears throat> so the, the hydrogen and the bromine are anti to each other. But also, so we have a phenyl group, which is really big, and then we have a methyl group and a methyl group. When this straightens out, these two methyls are going to be cis, and the phenyl and the hydrogen are going to be cis. And that's a better confirmation than, than having a phenyl and a, and a methyl being cis. So we've, that's, um, that's the least sterically hindered. And we're also uh, supporting Zaitsev's rule because... We could technically probably get um, a hydrogen from here. We could pluck one of these hydrogens off and then it would make a double bond right here and eliminate this bromine, but we're not going to do that because that would be the, that wouldn't be sterically hindered. That would be a minor product that would form. So the hydrogen comes in, takes this hydrogen, this bond goes here to form a double bond and that comes in and creates our alkene, the most substituted, one, two, three, and it's the best we can do with the cis. Two methyl groups are cis rather than a phenyl and a methyl group.